What's your bur bricky, Craig? Wraps, mate. Wraps? Yep. Bacon and eggs? Bacon and eggs. It's basically a camping staple, isn't it? It is, mate. Had your sleep last night? Uh, excellent. Yeah? Didn't wake up real good, but yeah. better, now. better now. Very good. So yep. you slept in the uh, swag inside the hut with the rest of the boys? Absolutely. Pretty cool, way. Eh? Yeah. Will you, come, will you come back? Oh, 100%. Yeah. It was um, not cold, not hot, no mozzies. No, it's nice. The only problem was the fire. Yeah, we were saying we really want to come back in winter and have a big roar and fire, have one outside, one inside to keep the shed warm. Right there. Yeah. It is a great spot. Nice, eh? A really good spot. Definitely worth coming and checking out. Shortcut bacon again. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> Where's the fat? <laughs> no fat. Don't tell Pete. Mm. Bacon and eggs? Sausage buffs. Sausage wraps? Sausage buffs, that was about it. But yeah, went out quite well. Yeah. Good start to another day, so. Ready, for, yeah. ready for a big one? Yeah. We're actually not doing that many Ks today. I think we're only doing 15 or 20 Ks if we can do this beach run. Should be good, try and get in a bit of fishing, eh? Yeah, hoping so. Mm -hmm. we, we did have a little crack. Um, Duffy and I had a go yesterday. A bit too windy, weren't it? Yeah, the ocean down there is pretty wild. Uh, it is salmon season. The salmon are running through here at the moment, but you just can't you just can't get into the water. You couldn't get a lure out there, could you? Nah, it was just smashing it back in. It's quite rough down there, really. It was. But, uh, so the wind's down. We'll have another yeah. go. See, how we See what happens, eh? Yeah. Mm. Where's Gazza? Gazza's got. I have to get him to show you. To tell you about it, but he's got these bush barriers on his car. They're quite interesting. Where is he? His coffee's there. Is that you in there, Gazza? Hi, lad. Pack it up. Yeah. Gazza's got the same structure and swag as me. Yeah. Gary actually put me onto it. These are a ripper. I did a video on it a while back, but they're good, eh? Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Top quality. How you feeling, mate? Do it once, do it once by it, you know? Mm. Um, I'm feeling a bit seedy after last night, mate. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> a bit too many beers, I think. Oh, I feel fine. I think you old, old boys went too hard. Uh, you took a hit last night. <laughs> no, they're good at good campers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no one slept on the bed. Well, no, no. <laughs> not, that, not that game. No. That's a proper old bed, hey, like metal frame. <laughs> Is that your pulse? Cheers, mate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah, for that. Yeah, you're right. Now I've got to try and get behind that bed somehow. Yeah, I'll help you get the bed bugs off you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it would be good if you had nothing here. You, I think Bibbum and Track's close by. It is, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you'd, mostly, you'd be grateful for something like that, I suppose. I don't know if, the, if it actually passes through here, but yeah, it, it dots up and down this yeah. coast for sure. Yeah. Just about packed away, Leon. Yeah, yeah. It's easy, this thing. Yeah. So you got the 30 second awning, same as me. Actually, I think all yeah. the boys have got one now. Oh, Craig. Craig, have you got one on the other side? No, mate. No. Nah. Who's got one then? Oh, it's only me and you. Oh, Gary's got one. No, he's got a darts. Okay, it's only me and you. Take that back. I'm thinking of Jonesy, eh? Jonesy's got one. Yeah. He's got the 30 seconds. Yeah. Although, for your part, would be no good. Nah. No, thank you. Yeah, so you got 30 second awning. Now, have you got the same size as me? Yeah, 2100. Yeah, which is good for the shorty. The yeah, 20. Nah, perfect. Yeah, the 2700 is more sort of wagon style in it. Yeah. Looks good on the little shorty. So, this is a, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a 93 GQ. Correct. Yeah. Ripper little bus. Have you? How long have you had it for, Leon? Uh. 16, 17 years now. Yeah, but only sort of in the last couple of years getting into yeah. decking it out for camping. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, what else goes you, well? What else have you done for camping? Um, the rooftop tent, of course. Yeah, so the king's pop up job. Yeah. And you, Leon, you take this off and you put it on your um, camper trailer as yeah. well. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's easy to get on and off. It's yeah. just a oh, two man job, really. Yeah. But, uh, Back, I've got uh, just a normal drawer set up and fridge. 
little shower tent on this side. Yeah. Very good. So yeah, yeah King's King's well. um, tighten drawers and slide. And is that King's fridge? It is. Yep. Yeah. They're only little cars, but yeah, you can you can fit everything you need. And this cracks me up. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> Poor old Leon. The first night he he, he um, slept in this pop top tent. Duffy's come around and tried to pinch your ladder or move your ladder or something, didn't he? Yeah. Nothing He's, like good friends. Yeah. We didn't need enemies for. So last night, what he did when he set up the ladder, he actually brought a bloody bike lock and his bike lock ladder to the top of his rack so he couldn't pinch it. <laughs> we had other evil ideas, but <clears throat> we sort of got, we probably had a few too many beers and couldn't do much of anything. Anyway, so it's comfy up there, mate. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah. Not a problem. Very good. All right, I better pack up my swag. Love this little thing. Got a bit of a soft spot for shorties. I've been telling Leon if he ever sells it, he has to give me first uh, right of refusal. But yeah, a little, um, well, it's not a little petrol. They're a big straight six, aren't they? 4.2, yeah. Yeah, TB42, carbide. A bit thirsty. But... Yeah. Geez, they're all, they're all a bit thirsty at the moment with yeah, fuel prices. I, I think Craig in the 200 series, he was, um, he topped up before we left and then we got to Northcliffe. He'd only done 250 k's and, it, and he put 65 bucks worth of fuel into the car. Yeah, $30 worth of diesel, but they charge me 65. Yeah, paying like $2.30 a litre. It's pretty crazy at the moment. It wouldn't stop me doing this though. I'd, I'd keep doing it. I'd just be a little bit more selective about maybe the distances. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pack my swag up and then I'll let you know where we go and what we're doing. So, what we're thinking, we're here, Kutamurra Hut or Moore's Hut, and we're going to cut back down to the beach where we were yesterday. And I wanted to go along the beach heading uh, east just until we get to just before Broke Inlet and then come up off the beach and see if we can find Fish Creek Hut. I've got some waypoints dropped where, I, where I've uh, found it on satellite maps. But yeah, the beach was pretty dodgy yesterday. The high tide mark was sort of, it didn't leave much of a track to actually drive on. And I don't know what the tides are doing now. Um, and I've also just noticed that on this map, it only shows that there's uh, a beach with full drive access up until where we are pretty much now. This section of beach we're wanting to do, it doesn't show that it's drivable. I know that we're allowed to drive on it, but um, I'm just not sure how accessible it is. So that's what we're gonna suss out today. So we'll see how we go. We'll take one of those routes either way. While the wind's down, we might even go have a bit of a flick anyway. It's, it is salmon season, as I said before, and um, we'll give that a go. Woke up this morning With the sunrise in my eyes Just like a new day, a breath of fresh air in my life. I don't know how and don't know why, but I'll, I'll be toasting all my life.
Just noticing the beach is getting a fair bit softer and there's less of it in spots and what tracks there are on a bit of an angle so we'll see how far we can get um, but I think those sort of cliffs in the background of the shot is where we, where we were planning to exit the beach and ultimately planning to camp tonight so we'll see how we go. Yeah it's getting soft I'm going to drop a little bit more tyre pressure so I was sitting at 18 pound before I'm going to drop down to 14. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no. He's trying max tracks. Oh, he's trying max tracks. I yeah. might go down there. Oh, oh we have to. I think you need the uh, the pollen part of me 3.2 ranger. <laughs> Poor old Gaz. It's my fault. I was on the outside cruising along filming and I ran out of beach so I sort of cut in front of the boys to try to get back in just as we like hit a really narrow section and it got real soft. So we all kind of lost our momentum. All of us managed to get through except Gary in his 200 series and uh, he's getting the max tracks off now by the looks of it. But he's a bit of a diehard Toyota fan and uh, I know that the only one who will let recover him will be, will be uh, Craig in the other 200. He's not going to let any other brand pull him out. So we'll let him suffer and try to dig himself out. We'll help him if he needs help, but it's a last resort. He's near him. This is going to destroy him. What, he, what was he saying to me earlier? He was saying, um, no, my tyre pressure's all right, but it's because I've got enough power. Yeah, that's exactly what he said, Dan. Look at you now, Gary. Three minutes later, that. Soft, isn't it? Hey, Gaz, can I just offer one bit of advice? Uh, can I offer one bit of advice? Uh, Let your tyres down, mate. Not enough power. <laughs> 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 Gary terrorised me all night last night, so I'm enjoying this. <laughs> we all terrorised you last night. I'm not enjoying it either. <laughs> <laughs> Suspension's maxed out, yeah. and you're sitting on your belly. So you'd get out if you had a long hand of shovel and you cleared all the sand from underneath, but it'll take you a couple of hours. We'd have to sit here and drink beer and watch you do that. Which we will. <laughs> uh oh, the recovery vehicle. No, he's, no, he's all right. He's hit the hard stuff. Didn't take much, did it? Uh, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Keep going! Oh, you stuff. Go, can you go forwards? Yeah. Keep going! Keep going, keep going. No. Down to together. I've got it to 13. 13? Yeah. Give it a go. I don't want to go too low, but. Yeah. Next one's 10. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Keep going, keep going, power on. He's got it.
Yeah. Righto. Now to recover the recovery vehicle. Just keep going, brother. Keep going, keep going. Be your time, boys. Well, that was a bit of a mission, but um, everybody's out now. And we're just gonna drive to the end of this beach where the cliffs are. And I think that's where the exit is we're gonna take off the beach anyway. Um, I'm just gonna make sure we've got an exit and then we'll probably park up in this bay and have a bit of a fish with the wind behind us, have some lunch and a couple of beers, that's the plan. and the boys have just said there's someone else here we've just found fish creek hut that is the risk um you can't book this first come first serve i'll just get a just show you it quickly on camera and then we'll have to go find somewhere else unfortunately yeah don't come this way it's a dead end Let's go have a quick look and then we'll leave these people be. Yeah. So what are we doing? Bugger, Fish Creek Hut. Um, that was going to be the plan for tonight. But a uh, nice young family got in there before us, so that's cool. Uh, they were kind enough to let us have a look through. I didn't want to take the camera in there because they had all their personal belongings and stuff. and. Just didn't really want to intrude but i took them up on having a quick look through and it's a really well set up little hut inside there was a photo on the wall of the fishermen that used to use this hut and they would lower a tinny down the sides of the cliff just behind the hut and they'd um, launch their tinny from inside the bay to to, um, to fish around this area that's pretty cool i wouldn't want to uh, give that a crack without a few strong blokes on the end of the rope but yeah a lot of character in that hut have to get out there again for now, we're gonna find somewhere else to camp. So we're just heading back out on the tracks now and we're gonna to head towards uh, Broke Inlet and see if there's anywhere to camp around there. It's only two o'clock, we've got heaps of time. We'll find something good.
Bugger. That's really disappointing. We've just run out of track. So there's no getting a broke inlet from here. Uh, we're gonna have to find a campsite. We're gonna backtrack a bit and probably turn the camera off now and just gun there. So we get there at a decent hour. See you there when we're there and set up. What are you going on? Steak burgers? Yeah, steak burgers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, channel eggs. Channel egg. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bugger. Now what? Uh, it'll, it'll taste good. Sometimes even the best fail. Even the best. And just let it stew. Very good. Are you cooking duff or no? Not yet. I'm not, not that hungry yet. No, you guys had a big lunch. Mm. See what Gary's doing. I've just got the same as last night. I've got a few sort of snacky foods in the air fryer, so that'll be about 15 minutes. See what Gaz has got. Hey, kid. You want a burger? No. Nah. No one's that hungry, eh? Oh, really? Yeah. Burgers then. Burgers for me tonight. Very good. Hey, um, how'd the bush barriers go? Good. Yeah. I felt sorry for um, Craig. For Craig, because as you can have a look down the side. Oh, a few marks down there, but most of them will, um, on the, if it was the car, they'd, they'd polish out anyway, so. Yeah. But it I'd was a bit scratchy, there, wasn't it? a lot more confidence. Yeah. So Recommend they, them, definitely. So what are they, about a thousand bucks? Nah, cheaper than that. Yeah? I don't know, six, seven. And they're magnetic. Eight. Yeah, magnetic. So you give the car a good wash. Give the car a good wash before you put them on. Yeah. Perfect. Love it. Pretty clever, eye. Clever idea. Yeah. yeah. Nah, a lot of confidence now. And you can get, um... We've seen a few people have got different designs. Yeah, any design you want, and any yeah. print you want. Yeah, very cool. Easy stuff. Yeah. Mm. So whatever you want to put on there, that's a little bit extra. Yeah. I think now you're talking over a thousand bucks, depending on the on the design. But yeah, I wouldn't know how much. But yeah, no, no, I would recommend it definitely. Yeah. Cool. Everyone was tasked with bringing a bottle of something nice. <laughs> it's good. It is good. And this bloke, cucumber vodka. It's different. You gotta try it. Definitely. Do they have to try it? Yeah. Oh, it smells like a cucumber too. It, it does. Have you ever had this before? Yeah, it's good. Which it's a delicacy. Which shop had this on their yeah. discount aisle? It wasn't discounted. Try it, you'll be pleasantly surprised. It tastes like fizzy cucumber. It's not good. It's like weak lemonade with a blended cucumber in it. It's not good. You don't know what you're missing. No, that's not good. It tasted a little bit like a snail. <laughs> it's good. You know how snails smell? That's what it tastes like. I I brought a delicious fancy rum. Um, what'd you bring? You bring what'd you bring? Uh, you bought, what sort of scotch was it? Um, Grants. Grants? So a nice scotch. There's, there's, one of the boys brought a bourbon. I brought some of this nice, these are spirits. Espresso Tenango makes coffee liqueurs. He doesn't sell them. It's like small batch stuff. The guy that, um, Jason, that I get all my um, coffee beans and stuff from, that's really nice. So I mix that with some Baileys or something. And then this bloke brings cucumber vodka. That's a genius idea. It's not very good. Oh, what do you, what do you think of cucumber vodka? Well, I hope you didn't pay much for it. <laughs> no, it was on the discount off. Yeah, well, I'm guessing that's... It's not good, uh, is it? No. No. Not, not a fan. That's for sure. But... Diamond, man. Why wouldn't you have a cucumber vodka? Because it's perfectly did reasonable. Ga did Gary get one? Yeah, he's just that's it. What I'd love to do... He said, he said to me, everyone in their life has to try a cucumber vodka. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers. Did you try it? Yeah. Do you know what I really want to do with it? Throw it out. <laughs> Shall I do it? I mean, I don't like to waste booze, but it's not good. Do you want mine? No. Because it tastes smell like... Smell it. It smells, it smells like, like a like snail. Cucumber. It smells like snail. 
No, I'm not. Yeah, I don't really tend to sniff snails. You've never thing. smelled a snail? No, not like that anyway. But I'm not being funny. It's fantastic. <laughs> Was this a joke? It's genius, cucumber vodka. It smells like cucumber and vodka. It flies off the shelves, this stuff. Yeah, into the bin. <laughs> Very good. Is that it? That's it. You happy with that? Cut. Yeah, cut. Cut. Thank you. <laughs>